Hi, this is Dave, and I'm a customer service agent supporting the Dolphin Quest My Photos website. Our goal with this video tutorial series is to help you learn the Dolphin Quest My Photos website so that you can preserve your memories from Dolphin Quest forever. In this first video, we will cover how to enter the photo download card claim ID, how to create an account, and an overview of the My Photos page. So let's get started. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do. <clears throat> When you come to the dolphinquest.com slash myphotos webpage is to enter the claim ID that was provided to you by the staff at DolphinQuest. And you can see by this red arrow that your claim ID goes into this box. So for the purposes of illustration, I'm going to enter claim ID MZB3 7KCJ. And I'm going to hit go. All right, so the next thing is the sign in page. Now, if you're a returning member, you can enter the email address and login password that you established when you created your account. If you're a brand new member, you're going to want to hit the create account tab. So we hit create account and we're going to hit put on our first name, our last name, and the website wants you to enter a valid email address, and this is this is really important because um, the website is not intended to be a place for long-term storage. Uh, after you claim your photos online, they will live in this account for 120 days, but after that, they will expire. They will age off. So, well before that time, we will send you emails indicating that your photos are about to expire. Please do something with them. Please download them. Uh, please uh, take them to a, another place other than here because, uh, once again, this is not intended to be um, a place for long-term storage. So I'm going to enter my email address. And then I'm going to enter my password two times. And it's always a good idea to review the accuracy of the login email address because if it was mistyped, um, you would have difficulty coming back in later on. So just like with most websites, it's a good, good idea to check for accuracy, no typos, and same thing with the, with the passwords. Um, once I've done that, I'm going to hit Create Account. And what... What, hap what occurs is that there were five photos associated with uh, that claim ID that I uh, entered earlier, and those five photos now appear. Now, for the purposes of this video tutorial, uh, I'm purposely including only photographs of these beautiful animals that are at Dolphin Quest and not showing actual guest photos. Your photos, obviously, would include your pictures with the animals interacting during the swims, etc., but just for the purposes of illustration, um, we're only showing, showing the dolphins uh, themselves. Okay, on the My Photos page, uh, the elements of this are quite simple. If you wanted to um, explore this photo larger, simply click on the uh, thumbnail. And it brings it up to a, a much larger page. And we're going to talk in detail about photo options in the next video. Um, but I wanted you to, to notice that in this example, there are no watermarks associated with this photo. Um, reason being is that the guest ID that I used to claim these five images was a prepaid um, guest ID, one that you obtained at Dolphin Quest in the Photoshop um, with the uh, expectation that you would be able to download, view, and share your photos at no additional cost because you paid for them um, in the store. In a second, I'm going to share with you. Um, claiming some additional photos with a standard guest ID. Okay, so I'm going to return to uh, my photo collection and I'm going to claim more photos. Clicking on this link right here, claim more photos. And I can enter in <clears throat> an additional guest ID if it was provided to me. Now this could be a standard guest ID that has the balance of the photos 
that um, were taken at Dolphin Quest, but these were not prepaid, and therefore they will appear um, with watermarks. Okay, so the five additional photos have been added um, to my photos page. And if I were to click on one of these five additional photos, I would see that there is a watermark uh, across this photo and it is available for purchase. <clears throat> In addition to um, the thumbnail images on the My Photos page, over here on the right hand side, there is a hot link to uh, download a photo release form. Now, this is really helpful. Uh, Dolphin Quest is providing you with full permission to duplicate um, your photos. If you were to take these um, uh, digital copies to a photo finisher at a department store or a um, drugstore, oftentimes they're obligated to um, ask you for, do you have permission for these copyright images? And um, you can simply uh, print this off and take this with you and you won't have any trouble at all with uh, printing your photos at a, um, at a photo lab. The final thing I wanted to point out for you in this first video is this download photos icon. Download photos is submitting a request to the cloud server to download in batch um, either the prepaid photos, the standard photos, or all photos. Um, that request requires a small amount of time to render the request and make it available. Once that request has been uh, submitted and processed, an email is sent to the email address that you use when you created your account to say, hey, the photos are ready. You can now come back into your account and download the photos in batch. This is really helpful when guests have large collection, let's say 50, 60, 70 photos. Um, you are able to download photos one at a time, but that's quite lengthy process when you have a large collection. So we do give guests the opportunity to download in batch. Now, this window here is asking me, do I want to download um, just the purchase photos, the prepaid photos, or do I want to download all of the photos? And in this example, I'm going to say, just download the photos that I've already purchased. These would be the ones without a watermark. I'm going to say, okay. Another window comes up and says a download link will be emailed to DolphinQuestGuest33 at Outlook.com. Once you receive your email, please follow the instructions to download your photos. You can also download individual photos now. Do you wish to do so? And if you wanted to, you could go ahead and do that. I'm going to say no. So that's a quick overview of the My Photos page, and we'll be coming back with photo options in the next video. Thanks.